Stand up, state your name, and... Uh, most of you know me from the crowd. Board members, my name is Harold Court. Uh, the public knows me as Mitch Court, 345 East Ohio Avenue. You know, I currently have two students in the school district uh, sponsoring one. Uh, I ask that the following donations be accepted by the board. Um, I've done some legwork and these things are already en route. I wasn't aware that I had to approach the board for these donations uh, from the Court Foundation. Uh, first thing I would like to recognize is that um, I have established that I, before in October, I'd like to give one hat and two gloves to every child in the Sebring School District before the snow falls uh, to ensure that we have kids that stay warm. They can choose to participate in it if they don't want to. Uh, if the school doesn't want to get involved, I'll have volunteers issue two sets of gloves and one hat to each child. The hats are purple, the gloves are purple. They're paid for out of my pocket. Total donation costs $4,000. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 18 October, the first two boxes will show up. If you don't want them, I'll secure them in my garage. I'll have the Masonic Lodge or the Shriners deal with them. But uh, we're going to have a bad winter. The economy is taking its toll on our people. So I want to make sure our kids are going to stay warm. Uh, the other thing I would like to recognize is that the volleyball team uh, needed some equipment. I made a phone call to Molten Company that makes all the volleyball equipment would like to sponsor the volleyball team. They would like to spend, they would like to send 12 game balls for the Ohio Game Ball Committee, two nets, and some uniforms. Those are paid for. Total cost, $2,000. Uh, I had an issue with the cannon. I guess the black powder is uh, insurance risk, high risk. So I called uh, Colonel Redstone Arsenal. His team engineered a high pressure air cannon that makes just as loud of a noise. They made it. Uh, it's being shipped to me, regardless if you want it or not. I think it's cool. Uh, it doesn't need lit. It is loud. Uh, it'll sit on a chassis, like the wooden chassis that those spools are on, to make it look like cannon wheels. Uh, it'll come in a crate, it'll be delivered here to the school. Total donation cost to include shipping was paid by me, uh, $2,800. Thank you. The uh, special education classroom needed headphones for their computers. I had it taken care of. Those were delivered to the school, I believe, this morning. Those were just donated. Those were uh, high-end home headphones. They're under warranty, so if they break, please give them to Mr. Corby. I'll have the liaison come pick them up, and they'll fix them. Wilson footballs. We'll send 80 footballs to the football team after the season. They'll have to store them somewhere. We won't have any football issues. And the last thing that I paid for which will be taken care of is, I actually have two last things to agenda. There's a shortage of band instruments for Mr. Linko. Two trumpets, one bassoon, one oboe, and one saxophone is currently being shipped from the All Army Band to the Seaver McKinley High School to the band free of charge. Those are coming. Didn't cost me anything. I'm sorry, could you repeat those instruments again? One oboe, three trumpets, one tuba, and a saxophone. Thank you. And the last items are uh, my kid who plays tuba for the band, because I'm a band dad. Uh, we went to a band. Sure. Yeah. I guess it was a competition, per se. I noticed that our kids were the only ones that didn't have uniforms. So I called Buccaneer and Stratford Uniform Company. I told them who I was and what I needed. They are going to pay for complete our whole school to have band uniforms. Those should be delivered ne by next fall. Wow. <laughs> wow, Mitch. Thank you. Thank the kids you. have already been measured and sized.
I've already paid the taxes. Mr. Lenko is already aware of what's taking place. The Buccaneers have already uh, seen our hats. They dislike them. And uh, so they're going to special make hats for our, our organization. I just need your formal approval of all this. I would hate to box it up and send it back. <laughs> um, I wasn't aware that these things had to come to you before this. I'm not running for office. If I see it broken, I want it fixed, and I'm a go-getter. So uh, if you would like these things for your organization, I'll leave you the time to vote on them. If there's anything else you would like, please let me know. Uh, i got three years left here, and I'm headed back to Texas. So uh, all of these things are from the Court Foundation, um, and that's all I have. Uh, if there are any other children who need coats or jackets, <coughs> please let me know. I've already spoken to some of the staff when the weather starts getting cold. If you see kids that are doubling up their sweaters, um, some kids just hate coats. We already know who they are. We can identify we're a small town. Some kids who we can identify as new, possibly struggling, let me know. I have a friend who owns a manufacturing company that makes high-end coats. We will make sure those individuals, to include the elementary school, uh, grades 1 through 12, will get brand new coats. Uh, I've spoken to Wayne Gatewood, who owns the company, who's the vice president of the real fancy clothing company, um, <coughs> Under Armour. Uh, he will also sponsor kids if they need things. Our town is slipping, but our kids won't. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Once I edit out my email correspondence, I'll send these to the board so you got them on record. But my personal correspondence to these people, you don't.